it, I am back. And I am in a completely new environment right now. It echoes a lot in here, so the audio is probably going to be a little bit wonky. But I have finally made an official craft room for myself. So this is it. This is the room. And I have all of my filming and lighting equipment down here. So I just thought from now on, instead of filming intros and stuff in my room, I'm just gonna have, you know, this dedicated space for everything. The wall, it's pretty blank, but you know, I'll probably fill it with something sooner or later. Anyways, that is not the point of this video. The point of this video is, so me and some of my crafter friends decided to get together and do a Pokemon inspired collab. So I'm just going to insert the thumbnails somewhere. So this video is in collaboration with Michelle's Cuties, Candyware, Ashley and Laz, Suzu Shu, Neonax, and Wonderland Crafter. They all did some really cute pieces for this collaboration so be sure to check them out and I will have their links in the description box as well so you can go check those out too. So for my part of the collaboration I want to do something about my personal favorite Pokemon, Eevee, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, and Oddish. So that is the four that I wanted to focus on in this video. So there's gonna be four. This is eight. It's gonna be four total that I'm going to be creating in this video. I wanted the design of the charms to be kind of like the Pokemon themselves are the Pokeball. And yeah, so this is what I came up with. And let's get straight into the tutorials. Alright, so I am starting off with Eevee, and I'm taking a brown polymer clay and rolling it into a ball for the Pokeball body. I'm taking two smaller little balls, and this is going to be the ears, and making two flat teardrop shapes. And you want to make a tan teardrop for the tail. Then I'm putting these pieces on little pieces of wire, and I'm going to be pre-baking them, and then sticking them into the ball after. Next, I'm rolling out a thin piece of tan clay, and then cutting it down to size, and this is going to be that band that goes around the Pokeball. And I'm going to be doing the button part, so I'm doing a tan big circle, and then the tiny circle is going to be the same color as the Pokeball. And this is the pattern I'm going to follow for the rest of the Pokeballs. After the pre-baking, I trimmed the wires, added some TLS, and stuck it inside the ball. Now, for Pikachu, I'm doing the same steps with the ears, and just making two teardrop shapes, but they're going to be a little bit longer. And for the tail, you just want to roll out a sheet and cut out a tail shape, which is like that zigzaggy shape. Again, I stuck them on some wire and going to pre-bake it. And for the body, I'm rolling some yellow into a ball and then wrapping a black band around it. So for the buttons, I forgot about the pattern and I did the yellow first and the black later and I completely messed it up, but I fixed it later. So um, as you can see, now it's fixed. And then I stuck the ears in and the tail and I trimmed the wire, added TLS and all that stuff. Now for the oddish. You want to make little leaf shapes, so again you're going to use that flat teardrop shape, but now you're going to be using a green color clay and you're going to need to make little indents for the leaf. And the reference picture that I used had five leaves, so that is what I'm using, so I'm going to be making five leaves total. And you want three of them to be kind of on the bigger side. I put a little bit of the green clay onto a wire and just going to be using that to wrap the rest of the leaves around it. So you want about two in the back and three in the front. And again, I'm going to be pre-baking this piece. Obviously, you don't have to pre-bake all these little pieces, but personally for me, I just find it a little bit easier to attach them later. And then same thing with the body, but this time I'm using purple for the band around it. Once that was done pre-baking, I just stuck it into the top. So for Jigglypuff, I am starting out with the little ears, so you want to make a small circle, just one small circle. And then you want to make a little indent with your dotting tool into the center, and then add a little bit of black. Make it into this diamond shape, and then you want to cut that in half so you have two little triangle ears. And then I stuck it on some wire and pre-baked it and all that stuff. So next I'm rolling out a small snake teardrop shape kind of thing. You want one end to be really small compared to the other end, and you just want to twist it up like so. For the rest of the body, I am using pink and light blue, and yeah, you know the drill. Just make those shapes and do that thing. And then I'm going to be adding the little curly tuff onto the top of Jigglypuff's ball head and that is basically it and then you just want to go and add in the ears. 
After fully baking everything, it is time to paint on the facial details. For Pikachu, you want two small black dots for the eyes and two slightly bigger red dots for the cheeks. Pikachu also has these markings on his ears, so you just want to paint the tips of his ears black. And don't forget the backs of the ears as well. And once the eyes are dry, you want to add a little tiny white highlight onto the black eyeballs. Next, I'm going with a needle tool. I'm adding a black dot for his little nose. And then you want to add his cute little mouth. And lastly, you just want the bottom part of his tail to be a brown color. So Eevee's eyes are dark brown ovals, and I'm also adding a little bit of a tannish brown at the bottom to just add some dimension. And then add a little highlight on the top as well. Eevee also has these small like eyebrow kind of things, so you want to add those in too. And then the nose as well as the mouth is pretty similar to how Pikachu's mouth and nose is. Lastly, add a dark brown paint to the inside of Eevee's ears. So Jigglypuff has really big eyes, so I'm starting out with a white base. I'm adding a light blue circle that's a little bit smaller than the whites. And then I'm taking a darker blue and going in to just add a little bit more dimension towards the top. So apologies for the out of focus shot, but I'm just adding a little mouth and a little pink tongue. And to finish it off, you just want to add two highlights for each eye. Oddish has like tiny dark purple eyes, and they're like little ovals. And then for the mouth, I'm doing brown and then a little bit of red for the tongue. And then you want to go in it and do a little bit of highlight. Once the paint is dry, you just want to add a layer of glaze. And here are your finished Pokemon as Pokeballs charms. Hey, welcome back! So that is it for all the tutorials. And I hope you guys enjoyed them or found them helpful. And don't forget to check out everyone's videos who are part of this collaboration. And I will have everything in the description box. And that is it, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!